Thank you. I'm a physician. My specialty is physical medicine and rehabilitation. For nearly 40 years, I've observed patients with severe neurologic problems and have used the water a lot. I've worked with stroke patients using aquatic therapy, traumatic brain injury patients, spinal cord injury patients. And the thing that has been amazing to me is how fast recovery happens in those patients and how much they enjoyed the process. I would send patients down to the therapy gym and they'd come back saying, I had a terrible day. Oh, it hurt. I'd see them come back from the pool smiling. So my research focus has been to try and figure out what the heck is happening. I'd love to say the good news is that I know, but I don't. I do know that aquatic activity increases the efficiency of the heart. It promotes increased blood flow through the body. I do know that it increases blood vessel elasticity based on work by Dr. Tanaka and others, that it increases circulatory efficiency in both big and small arteries. And I know, based on recent research, that it increases blood flow to peripheral musculature and the whole central nervous system, even including the brain. This is a study that was just published last year that looks at cerebral blood flow during immersion. The researchers basically built tanks and put the research subjects in these tanks. And they started the tanks empty and measured what happened at baseline. And then measuring through very careful sensors, looking at the posterior cerebral artery and the middle cerebral artery, a very important group of vascular supplies to the brain. And as you can see, in that tank, as they filled it first to the waist, and then all the way up to neck depth, blood flow velocities increased dramatically to the brain. So there was a very significant statistical effect of immersion, not active immersion, just immersion during that period of blood flow during that period of blood flow monitoring to those critical vessels. Well, that may be a piece of what's going on. I also know, based on research that we've done, that warm water immersion produces a balancing of the two components of the central nervous system, the autonomic nervous system. It produces anxiety reduction and mental relaxation through that balancing of the sympathetic and parasympathetic components. It produces an improvement in mood state and a reduction in mood state disorders like depression. It, pro it produces an improvement in working memory. It produces an increase in cognitive task performance and creative problem solving and creative flexibility, the ability to switch from one task to the next. And all of these are impacted in stroke, in traumatic brain injury, and most importantly, in dementia. It produces an improvement in well-being through balancing the autonomic nervous system. Is it going to play? No, it didn't play. This started out as a, actually a doctor-patient relationship. Bill was my patient, and uh, he was a brilliant man uh, who was developing dementia. He knew it. He was unhappy with it. Um, and uh, we did our best with medications uh, like donazepil and memantine, 
and at maximum doses, but his uh, dementia continued to worsen to the point that ultimately he was placed in the dementia center where he continued to uh, deteriorate uh, to the point that he could only feed himself. He couldn't uh, uh, assist in his own transfers, he couldn't stand, um, and the hope was that perhaps it would be easier on the caregivers if he could help them help him. And so an effort was made to uh, put him in physical therapy which failed miserably because he couldn't follow instructions and understand uh, what he was supposed to do. Um, therefore, uh, we uh, decided to give him a trial of aquatic therapy center. And uh, there he was in the water. He turned around, looked at me, and gave a big smile and a wave. <laughs> Uh, and uh, right off the bat, it dawned on me that this was really remarkable. Uh, once he uh, got into the pool, it was as though he woke up. Uh, he could speak in sentences and uh, actually follow instructions. Uh, the trouble is, it was subjective, and so uh, I immediately uh, tried to um, quantify uh, what has happened with this man and uh, we set up some uh, uh, basic parameters uh, to monitor his cognitive function and his ability to uh, follow instructions and um, 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 it was amazing how well he did and uh, both as a baseline and then later on long term for the first couple of sessions, we entered the pool with the chairlift. From the moment we entered the water, his ataxia was drastically provoked. His legs instantly pulled into a spastic flexion synergy and was unable to touch his feet to the floor. I spent 45 minutes using modified Watsu and Hallowick techniques that allowed him to touch the floor for the last 10 minutes of the session. His second session began the same way but it only took half the time to get him to touch the floor. As you can tell, his ataxia would continue to kick in, causing significant difficulty with any mobility or propulsion in the water. Within a few visits, I was able to get him to initiate standing and weight shifting. Even being able to take steps with various methods of support, but his ataxia continued to cause a huge obstacle. As he became desensitized to the overstimulation of the water, he was soon able to enter and exit the pool using the ramp. And eventually we would enter and exit the pool using the stairs with as little as contact guard assistance. You gotta go under and count. 15, stay under for 15 seconds. Count to 15 and come up. You know, even the ability to follow a command is amazing. Oh my goodness. How is this compared to when he's on land with you yeah. as well? These are his it is, you can tell a significant oh, difference. A difference. Yeah. Well, he's able to um, have conversation. It's more, it's more of a conversation yeah. as opposed oh, to, know. okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so that's, and that's the thing that when Dr. Myers had, was was looking at all that, he <laughs> it was so funny because I'd been, I only knew Bill from my first session on, right? And Dr. Meyer came down and he just like froze and just stare, stared at him because the first day he saw him, Bill was just, oh, hey, 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 how are you doing? Wow. So I don't know why that happens. But that it happened, I do know is unique because there are no medications that can do that. We need research to find out who that works on. Does anybody in this audience have a family member that has had Alzheimer's or dementia? Raise your hand if you have. It's incredibly uncommon not to have at least half the room raise their hands when I ask that question.
The water provides immense potential power in maintaining the nervous system function. I fully believe that healthy brains are all wet. Thank you.